Aye. Aye. State your name. Matthew G. Bevan. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. Governor Matt Bevan was sworn in during a private ceremony just after midnight. We have a team of reporters in Frankfurt where the inaugural parade has just ended and Bevan is attending a public swearing in ceremony and other events. Our Mark Vanderhoff joins us live from the Capitol with a look ahead at this afternoon's ceremony. A lot going on there, Mark. There sure is, Karen. That private ceremony took place just after midnight inside the Capitol Rotunda, which is just behind me. Now, this swearing in ceremony that's going to be happening at 2 o'clock is going to be happening outside behind me, and it's going to be attended by a much larger crowd. Matt Bevan officially became governor just after midnight. Lieutenant Governor Janine Hampton was also sworn in. It was a brief ceremony attended by family and some supporters. This afternoon's swearing in ceremony will include an honor guard, choirs, and other guests. Hampton and Bevan will also address the crowd. Bevan is only the second Republican governor since 1971. His speech is expected to hint at some of the major changes that could be coming to Kentucky. He's already pledged to dismantle Connect, the state health insurance exchange, and roll back a Medicaid expansion. He's also talked about cutting spending and the size of Kentucky's government. Here he is this morning praising veterans before his inaugural parade. Everything that we're enjoying, literally, every freedom, every liberty we have, is ensured by that by crew of folks. I mean, there's, there's nothing more critical than the people who wear this nation's uniform, nothing. And we take it so often for granted, and uh, not today. And again, that swearing-in ceremony is going to be starting at 2 o'clock, and after that, Bevan will be going over to the Kentucky History Center nearby for the Frankfurt Welcome Party. That's going to be from 4 to 7, and it's free and open to the public. Live in Frankfurt, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. All right, Mark, thank you. And we continue our team coverage of Governor Bevan's inauguration with Carolyn Callahan. She's live along the parade route. Carolyn, uh, that parade, right, it just wrapped up just a few minutes ago. It did just wrap up right here on Capitol Ave. And just until a few minutes ago, Governor Matt Bevan was still here shaking hands and talking with folks. He was sitting behind me on the stage watching the parade. But before he got to sit, he walked this parade route. And during that, he stopped to take the time to shake a whole lot of hands. He talked with folks. And even at one point, he ran across the street because someone yelled over, Hey, what about us? He said, I have to say hi to those folks, too. So he ran over there to talk and shake a lot of hands with people in the crowd. Now the crowd was taking pictures and congratulating him. This parade started at 10 o'clock this morning, but some people were lining up here as early as 7. I'm interested in the governor. I want to see him make a new start. He says he's a conservative. I hope so. I'm a conservative if you ever saw one. Because he's just such a people person. We like him really well. I just like to come here just to be the part of be a part of history in Kentucky. You know, was today makes history. You know. And the theme of the parade was veterans. The grand marshal of this parade was Medal of Honor recipient Dakota Meyer. There were a lot of veterans lining the streets. I talked with some of them. They said it means a lot to have the focus of this parade really be on them. Actor John Voight was also here. We're told that's because he loves Kentucky and the governor invited him. So he said, sure, I will be there. The swearing in ceremony is scheduled to begin at 2 o'clock. If you can hear that music behind me, they are practicing for that event right now. Reporting live in Frankfurt, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. Beautiful music indeed, Carolyn. Thank you. A worship service kicked off Matt Bevan's public inaugural events. It was held at the Frankfurt Convention Center this morning, just after 8 o'clock. WLKY's Erica Coghill was there. Traditionally, the inaugural worship service is held at a nearby church, but such a large crowd was expected that officials moved it to the Frankfurt Convention Center. And good thing, because about 1,500 people showed up to the service, which typically attracts about 100. Hundreds welcomed Kentucky's 62nd governor, Matt Bevan, with blessings Tuesday at an inaugural worship service. I'm going to ask you, all of us gathered here, to make a pledge that we're going to pray every day for Matt Bevan that he will have wisdom. Wisdom is what the family man's late daughter, Brittany Bevan, prayed for. God, please fill me with your wisdom that I won't just watch others suffer, but I will be able to say what they need to hear. 
She asked that broken-hearted people would cross her path so she could heal their pain. It's a message Bevan found written in his 17-year-old daughter's prayer journal. She wrote it the night before she died in a tragic car accident 12 years ago. The theme of wisdom echoed throughout Tuesday's service. But I believe that that is the quality that will distinguish Matt Bevan as governor. Renee Smith believes Bevan has the wisdom to move Kentucky forward. That his plan for moving education forward in Kentucky is a good plan. He also is our first governor to um, have an African American lieutenant governor as by his side. Many traveled from across the Commonwealth for the inaugural service, which featured some of Kentucky's most recognized gospel recording artists. <laughs> Now we're going to go forward and hopefully accomplish all the great things that we think can happen. Erica Coghill, WLKY News. And again, the public swearing in ceremony of Governor Bevan will be held on the Capitol steps at 2 o'clock. It will be followed by a welcome party at 4 and a grand march at the Capitol Rotunda at 7. We'll bring you full coverage of today's inauguration events all day on WLKY and WLKY Mobile.